this is not a good place to grow. <laughs> Yes, it's very bright today. Oop. So, watered the greenhouse. Still very happy with that we planted in it. I've seen the first flowers. So, in a month or six weeks, I think we'll have our first tomato again. Which is good because we haven't had one since the plants here died. Anywho, as I was working in the garden the other day, I just saw a lot of like small things that needed to be done. So um, I made a list. Uh, it's a fairly long list. Some of it are bigger things. Some of it are smaller things. One of it is to plant the basil in some of it in the greenhouse, then I want to prune the blackberry bush because it's not looking too good. Um, some of the parts are just dead, so I need to cut them off. And then some of it are bigger things like mulching the potatoes again, um, starting to make the pumpkin patch, all that kind of stuff. So those are bigger jobs. I think for motivation, I'm going to first do some of the smaller jobs. So I think I uh, will just start with the blackberry I just mentioned, or the, yeah, it's a blackberry. Okay, this is not blackberry, but the black currant that we planted back in January. Um, as you can see, this part is just dead. So I'm gonna cut that off and then hopefully this can have a better life. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the one over here because it's doing that as well. And then some of the raspberries and things also need it. So that's gonna be job number one. Ja, dan sta ik hier voor.
I have to see. Otherwise, we'll do it again. It looks like they are pheromoning, waving. So we'll we'll wait and come back in an hour or so and keep an eye on what's going on. I only need one bee in there. That's the queen. <laughs> the rest will follow, but she'll still have pheromones there. I'll leave the camera rolling and we'll see. Okay, I'm sure now they are in, because the bulk is out and you've probably seen it, I haven't yet. Next up, mulching the potatoes. We got a new bale and we already had some rain. So it's already sprouting. I think this is gonna be great to have a multi-crop with the pumpkins. With the potatoes, I think we'll weed it. But that's the struggle of living in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of hard to find the perfect things. So this is what we got. It's just rye or oats or something like that. Doesn't matter, we can work with it. been a real adventure with these potatoes they died back again <laughs> and now they're growing again so I'm gonna just add some sprouted potatoes from the cupboard to some of the gaps Ooh. growing a very enthusiastic thing <laughs> See, things want to grow, even in places where you don't want them to grow. I'm not sure if you could actually see that, but they were growing through the mesh because there was some soil in this bag. So I'm just going to plant some of these. They have roots, so we'll see if they grow. But I also have some sprouted potatoes that we're just gonna bury under this first layer and then add one more on top.
All right, next up on the list is getting this pumpkin area up to par. You can see the sticks where I made the compost in place areas. Um, I never got around to making more. So I think I'll just ha put the very little homemade compost that we have in the holes and then plant the pumpkins. Um, and it's just on the other side of where we made the beds the other week. Um, but Martin didn't trim this area because I don't know. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> so we're gonna, I'm gonna stay mostly in the shade now because it's getting warm, uh, and we're gonna tackle this area. Okay, that's my lunch. On to the next thing. This is a Szechuan pepper bush. And uh, it's been on this pot for way too long. Um, <laughs> you know I got it from you and I still haven't planted it. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, that really needs to get done because it's kind of a shame to not have it uh, grow properly um, I'm actually kind of amazed that it's still alive but here we are um, I'm in the perennial garden right now by this uh, cork oak and there's an, a spot here that's uh, kind of in line with the blueberries and I thought this would be a good spot for that one because I don't see any other good places anymore. Anywho, so that's a one small job that really needs to get done. We're gonna do that first and then we're gonna continue with the pumpkin area. Let's cross that off the list. So, I was walking down to catch some earth to uh, get some eggs, and then I heard the zooming of the bees, and there's another swarm moving in. Not in one of the catching hives, but just a, a hive that was stored, but that doesn't really matter. They'll move in just the same. Climbing up, wafting. Might be. Is it, yeah, it's a drone. It's not a not a queen. Queen must already be in there. Yeah, look how nice it looks. And how calm they are. But this one is fine. I'll just make sure that. Uh, set up 
some frames for them. I hope I cleaned this one. <laughs> Okay, uh, final thing that I want to do today is help this, I think it might be an apple tree or a pear tree. We'll have to see once it really starts fruiting. But there are quite a few parts that are completely dead. And so I want to cut them out to help the tree. And hopefully it can get some fruit um, in the autumn. That would be really cool. I really get distracted. There are so many birds hopping around now, and but it's quite hard to film them unless you have like one of those really big lenses that can do a proper zoom. Um, so maybe one day I can share that. <laughs> Not for now. I think it looks much better now it's kind of a little bit lopsided because all the dead parts were on this side and now all the nice flowering parts are on that side but that's okay um, maybe we can train this one a little bit more to the side or something uh, over time this can be a uh, nice divided tree again for now i'm just gonna leave all this i think it will be much happier without all these dead parts and then at the end of summer we can see what it actually is bees loving it <laughs> 